Sonny and his kinfolk were content with their way of life. During the dry season, their clan lived alone. They hunted whenever they chose, gathered an array of plants, told stories, and took part in debates. In the rainy season, they united with the rest of their tribe. They formed a temporary city, feasted, held dances, and played games. They could have lived like this forever. But a strange and foreign people had ideas of their own. Appearing out of nowhere, these aliens looked completely different. They smelled different, they even dressed differently, and they had the most peculiar habits. These people didn't live with the earth. They exploited the earth, imposing monocultures and intensive farming. They weren't content with their lot. They were possessed by an insatiable desire to consume, and they had no sense of freedom. They were beholden to a never-ending list of outlandish concepts, things such as hierarchy, patriarchy, monarchy, monogamy, God, punishments, ownership, inequality, money, work, and tax. Sonny and his kinfolk faced the toughest decision in their history. They could wage war on these imposters, but the enemies were strong. They had killed hundreds of thousands of indigenous people. They could flee, but these imperialists would surely follow. They would push them into the sea, the mountains, or the desert. Their clan needed another solution. But what could it be? Could they negotiate with this violent foe? Could they form a pact? Could they create a kind of alliance? Sonny had no idea, but he was compelled by a duty to find out. This was his time, and he was willing to risk his life to save the people he loved.